Loyal fans of the band Fish are putting up with day-long traffic tie-ups and huge crowds to see the group's annual New Year's concert. And Susan Candiotti has more. In the heart of the Florida Everglades, Fish fans endure an eight-hour traffic jam to attend a two-day New Year's concert. Passing the time in any number of ways. An eclectic and devoted mix. How far would you go to see this group? To the ends of the earth. We came all the way from Toronto. <laughs> Fish inherited the so-called deadheads and their loyalty when the Grateful Dead stopped touring. 15 times over the past four, four years. They love the band, love the music, in this case, need gas to get to the concert, and love mixing it up with other fans. But this weekend, it's also an opportunity to think ahead to the future. Because everybody's going to want to know what you're doing for the millennium. And for Justin Perlman and other 20-somethings, attending a Woodstock-like concert in the Everglades was the only way to bring in Y2K. I don't know, there's kind of depressing age that we're living in but not here. I would hope to think that like as time goes on that uh, we get a little bit more into the spiritual side of I guess what makes us all human, not so much the physical. But for now, fish fans have to get physical just to get to the concert. Susan Candiotti, CNN in the Florida Everglades.